It's now time to assemble the roof vent. So uh, first thing to do is to lay out your parts for the roof vent. Just uh, unpack your bundle of uh, the, this part and uh, place it on a work table if you have a workbench. Uh, do a great job. Uh, make sure you dispose all the parts uh, and you can uh, work more easily assembling the roof vents. It's very easy. Uh, make sure not to disassemble uh, some of the, of the rail, uh, some of the aluminum extrusions that are, that are already uh, assembled. You don't want to slide them off. You might not be able to uh, put them back together in the proper order. So don't get into trouble. Don't disassemble uh, these parts. Uh, once you have laid out all your parts, let me show you how you assemble uh, this part to make the roof vent. Remember to install the foam tape in all the proper channel. To insert the bolt in the glazing bar, you insert it one on each end. You need also to insert two bolts into the middle section of the roof vent. This glazing bar needs also two bolts to insert in it. The most important thing to look for when you're selling the roof vent, uh, it's important to install the notch part of the extrusion of the glass bar into the hinges of the roof vent. Okay? The other side is the nut notch. There's no notch in the extrusion, so this part goes to the gutter side and the notch part goes to the hinge part. Don't lose the boat while <laughs> assembling it. So remember, when you assemble the gutter, the notch part here for the bolt goes inside the greenhouse, so at the bottom of the assembly, here uh, like the H assemble or quite like a Z, I don't know, goes up of uh, the roof vent assembly. And for the roof vent hinges, okay, so this kind of S part is the top of the assembly. The notch part here where the boats goes, uh, goes down is the inside part of the greenhouse. So now you're ready to assemble everything. Don't tight the bolt too, too tight for now. We will tight everything up later. A little tip, if you already pre-screw your bolt here, with the nut. It will be easier to assemble afterward. Just have to insert and then just a little bit of uh, tightness. Just tight it a little bit. It will fit. You can push that here. Okay. There we go. To make sure that all the glazing bar are perfectly enter as deep as you can, then you can insert the gutter. If you want to have uh, more fun or you want to make it easier, you can reverse the assembly on the other side. Time to fix everything up, it will help you. It's again, it's important to make sure all the parts are perfectly aligned and insert at the deepest you can. As deep as you can. Just let's tighten this just a little bit. Okay, now let's put it back on the proper side. Now, as you can see, it's not perfectly square, but it's going to take place when we are ready to 
put the polycarbonate on. It's important that if you uh, notice some aluminum residue to uh, remove it. Just make sure you don't scratch anything or uh, scratch your paint, scratch your polycarbonate or even hurt yourself. So just remove it through the way. Now we uh, remove, it's time to peel the brown paper. So the wax paper that protect the foam tape, you now remove it. Take you two small parts of polycarbonate sheet that are left. Uh, remember, we uh, did the same thing when we were glazing the roof of the greenhouse. You have a blue side uh, film and a clear side. The blue side is the side that is UV protected. So this side goes up, this goes outside the greenhouse. If you put the blue film inside the greenhouse and the clear film outside, your party cabinet won't be protected against the, the, UV, uh, the UV ray of the sun and it will age uh, faster and uh, we'll have to change it. To secure the glazing cap, use the number eight, five and eight inch screw that are provided in the uh, roof vent uh, bundle. You need to make sure that your glazing cap is properly secure and down to the gutter perfectly aligned. Then you can secure your screw on each bar. Great. So now we're done. You have great roof end, but we're not perfectly finished. Before you finish your assembly, uh, you need to install uh, two uh, number eight three quarter inch uh, screw here in the gutter just on both sides you also need to insert the two inch uh, screw number eight and both sides of the hinge to secure our roof vent Final step is to apply the sealant, the pro glaze. We're gonna seal the roof uh, vent before we install it on top of the greenhouse. So for the pro glaze, this is how you do it. So for the, the tip, you just cut a little, little part on top of it to help you have a 45 angle, 45 degree angle to help you apply the pro, the pro glaze. Don't make a too, uh, don't make a big hole you will have a lot of difficulty to apply the pro glaze uh, without any problem. So it's best to be uh, to make a smaller hole and if you if it don't work you just make it bigger after. It's easier to make it bigger than make it sm smaller. So you just make a little small seal here between the polycarbonate and the inch, you can seal again here on top of the molding here, but it's not necessary because it doesn't communicate with the greenhouse. And then we do another seal here on top. Now we make another seal here between the polycarbonate panel and the H channel and the last one is here on the bottom just between the H channel and the gutter we do the same thing okay so now we're done with the the silicone Sealant pro glaze. If you want, you can apply just a gently touch of your finger with soapy water to make sure you have a tight seal. You 
you need to check, make sure you have a tight seal after that. As you can see here, it's not perfect. I'm gonna put another coat. It was too small. You need a tight seal. So you need to make sure the pro glaze stick everywhere. You have enough. Here I didn't put enough. It's a of pressure, so I'm gonna put another coat to make sure everything is tight seal. There you go. We're done for the roof vent. So let's go put it on top. To install the roof vent on your greenhouse is a pretty straightforward operation. Just need to remove one of the screws that are on the ridge and we're going to be able to slide the vent assembly just perfectly into its position and then we're going to be able to install the opener. Don't forget to put back the screw when you have installed the roof vent. If the roof vent sealant that you apply on your roof vent is not dry yet, make sure not to touch it. You will get uh, all sticky and ruin everything you did. So you need to make sure you manipulate the roof vent properly. Now you will insert the roof vent with this notch here, this kind of a S uh, form. Uh, or Maybe a C, I don't know, some more a C or D, I don't know <laughs> which kind of letter I could refer to. Uh, but you will insert this part into the corresponding part at the ridge. This will make the hinges for the roof vent. So you go slowly, you don't want to ruin the painting. And you just slide the roof vent slowly, gently to its position, making sure you don't touch the ceiling. Make sure you position the vent properly into its position. You might have to raise it a little bit and push it in place. Make sure you're perfectly aligned and perfectly in position. And uh, if you're better job done by two people, you can have one inside the greenhouse, making sure everything set uh, properly and the other one pushing it in. And then we put back the screw that we removed before into his hole to make sure the roof vent doesn't get off. Okay now, to install the roof vent opener, the MK7 by Baileys, uh, you first need to place it in a cool place. Uh, you can ideally uh, place it in your refrigerator for 30 minutes to make sure it's cool and uh, it's at its uh, closest form. After you take out the Bayless uh, MK7 from the refrigerator. You need to re-enter the rod here into a piston uh, by pressing on a flat surface. Let's do it. Okay, after that, you take the knob here. Uh, this is the control knob that will uh, allow you to control the opening of the vent, the dimension of the opening, so the size, uh, the angle of the opening. Uh, so you screw it on over the rod here. We'll be able to adjust later. So now in the bailless kit, you will have some screws, bolted nut. You don't actually need them. Uh, you can use them, but uh, in the vent opener, uh, package you add the four screws they are stainless steel so if you want to keep the same kind of screws that are that all your greenhouse use uh, it's better to use the screen the, the better to use the screws that are provided by BC greenhouse uh, that are in the vent package we install an MK7 with the control knob at the bottom this is the bottom part and the upper part we're gonna uh, now screw the MK7 to the structure of the greenhouse two screw on the greenhouse frame and two screw in the roof vent. These all are already pre-made in the greenhouse structure in the middle of the roof vent. So we can first install the upper part of the MK7. 
if you use your head like me to keep the roof end open make sure you don't break the polycarbonate it's quite resistant but just want to do it gently and go carefully you don't want to break your own brand new green house now fit the opener in there and make sure it make the plate the mk7 plate flat If you're two, it's always better. One hold the roof end, the other one's screw. Turn the screw. And it can make more easily the adjustment. Screw it tight. Then place it back. Let's go slowly. Make sure you can position perfectly here to the greenhouse carefully we're gonna going to align the holes here the greenhouse frame same thing here use stainless steel screw For a better adjustment of your uh, roof vent mechanism, th the hole in the greenhouse frame and in the mechanism are made so you can slide it just a little bit to make your alignment better. So don't hesitate to align properly your uh, mechanism so it work and open close smoothly. If your opening mechanism is not properly aligned, um, you just need to reposition the roof vent. Maybe it's off a little bit. As you can see, even if there's a screw on top of it, on top of the greenhouse on the ridge, the roof vent can be off center a little bit. So just replace it and recenter the mechanism. So you can adjust here the control knob here, the adjustment knob to decide if you want the roof vent to if you want the roof vent to open to an higher angle uh, or larger opening or a smaller opening depending on the temperature you want to keep in the greenhouse um, mostly when it's a cold period you just want when the weather you just want when the temperature in the greenhouse get a little bit hot to have a, just a little bit of fresh air coming in to refresh your uh, plants or vegetable uh, you keep it as a very small angle, small opening, but when it's very hot, you open uh, your vent at the maximum. Uh, in the northern climate country, it's important if you have a lot of snow or ice that uh, accumulate on your roof to uh, disengage the roof vent opener uh, during winter uh, because uh, on sunny day, the weather in the greenhouse can uh, get a little bit higher. And if the roof vent try to open and uh, if the snow or ice prevent the roof vent from opening, uh, the wax will continue to uh, take spaces and if it cannot expand, the piston will blow and uh, break your uh, opener. So you need to deactivate the opener during winter when uh, the roof vent cannot be used. So to do that, you just completely unscrew the control knob and place it back at the springtime.